last day of training, which isn't training at all, because we're finally getting our own farm. If anything, it's training to take care of ourselves by just throwing us out of the house. Oh, boy. So maybe Best is actually an escaped mental patient. <laughs> How do you figure? Well, I'm just thinking, you know, a stranger shows up in town with some ludicrous backstory about being left to farm. Moves in with an old lady. And the local guildmaster's just like... It won't, it won't hurt, I guess. Our Chamber of Commerce is so hard up for people who will actually do work. <laughs> Yeah, this is the plot of the game, which I think is amazing. We came to the town because they were doing so well that they've stopped doing better. So they needed someone else to come in to help them make more money. This is literally every business ever. In a way, it's almost the opposite of Save the Homeland and Hero of League Valley, because in that case, we were going against big business. In this case, it's big business, the town. I'm I'm just happy to see that Harvest Moon has gotten its dreadlocks out of its ass. <laughs> Think everything's free? Pay some taxes. Farm subsidies won't pay for themselves. I tell you, you can be one with the harmony of the universe once you've pulled a plow for 16 hours. Or smack the ground with a hoe for about three strikes. Same amount of work. Yeah, I mean, with, you know, time compression. Still tires your worm out the same amount. <laughs> it ain't much. <laughs> Don't want to seem ungrateful, Guildmaster, but what is this Tim Burton pile of shit? <laughs> I don't think there's a right angle in this entire place. <laughs> So perhaps, more than any other Harvest Moon I've played, this really is the worst farm. <laughs> Honey, it named itself. <laughs> so wait, the default would have been the home farm? Yeah. And you can tell people when you play online who just left it at the default, because it actually says below your character name what your farm's named. <laughs> we all just converge. Turns the three stooges. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Says Veronica. And of course, Best is so optimistic, she's just like, Wow, such interesting stains! <laughs> like that big white splotch in the bottom left corner there. <laughs> My goodness, there's so much fresh air in here! Hey, in the city, she'd probably pay $4,000 a month for this. Dan was glad to get it. Veronica! I like she's assuming in these last six days, I haven't tried to meet Gunther. <laughs> Oh, good night, and I see you're living on the worst farm. I also like sausage. I apologize to any Germans who might be watching. Not Austrians, though. Is that even still a country? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was an ill-advised joke. They're not the country in danger of being eaten by their neighbors. <laughs> Yet. Yet. That's Canada. Canada, if anything, you're going to be eating us this next couple years. Yeah, we're too busy eating ourselves. That's right. We'll just scoop in and have Seattle. We need to spare Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Especially with a Quebec, aren't they still trying to leave? Yeah, but I think mostly... So, the way I see Quebec, it, they, they're they like a five-year-old child who, like, huffily packs their bags and says, That is it! We are leaving forever! <laughs> we are never coming back! You will have wish you had learned to appreciate us! You know, and then we're like, just go. Go then. Go. I'll help you pack. Uh, I have reconsidered. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to feed myself. <laughs> of course you will, Lita. Funny thing that using the axe actually is faster than using the hammer. Not sure why they made that difference. Like, on rocks? Yeah. Well, you can't really? use them on the same materials. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they have their own materials, but for whatever reason, making lumber with the axe is faster than making material stone with the hammer. In practical terms, that makes sense, I suppose. I don't have much use for what day it is ever since Edgar died. You know, I don't even think she's waggling her eyebrows. I think that's just a tick. <laughs> Early stages of Tourette's. This late in her life? I've been watching that lovely Magnum P.I. and I've been trying to practice that eyebrow waggle that Tom Selleck does. Oh, he's such a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> now be careful when you plant the stew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping the book would be our allowance. Oh, boy. Reminds me of the day my own dear mother kicked me out. <laughs> Gave me 500 doubloons and a box of stew. <laughs> <laughs> and some seeds. Good old country living. That's about right. Now, if I want this house to not be utter shit, I need one more pebble. But also, I need to break up what I have into material stone and lumber. Which is pretty easy, it's almost instantaneous. Step one, place them on the floor of your home. Here we go, two hits for the small one. And then four for the big rock. And there are different stages of materials, obviously. It goes from small to regular, and then black. Black lumber and material stones are very rare. <laughs> I've built my basalt palace. So that now I just need to find one more pebble and I can make my house actually good. But look at everything that we've learned already. I don't know why they taught me how to dry crops because I don't even have a seed maker yet and that's what it's used for. Here you can see they tell you everything, every upcoming festival, anyone's birthdays, and when traders come to town. So you can go to all the festivals, like the Egg Festival, or the Harvest Festival, or the Blood Festival, or the Cooking Festival. <laughs> <laughs> they were just paused to look around, what do you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Blood festival's not till fall, dude. Read your calendar, gosh. <laughs> I gotta prep early. You need a lot of blood. So this is what I was talking about. Now imagine this in normal mode, when you use your stamina much faster, and it takes much longer to break anything. Luckily, destroying the big rocks does give you a bit of blackstone. So we can save that for later. 
Or if you get really hard for money, you can sell the Blackstone. They're not missable or anything, it's just the only real way you can get them is by fishing them. So you've had this farm for about 10 minutes. Edda's probably not even back home yet, and all she sees is you flailing around with a hammer. <laughs> oh, just wait until, wait until I start chopping down trees. That's even funnier. But I think she knew that's what we would do. Which I guess is why she gave us the stew. There we go. At least enough to fix the rock, I think. Luckily, we don't have to worry at all about using too much of our stamina. All you have to worry about is using all of it. There's not anything like in Harvest Moon 64 where you can get really tired and there's a chance you'll be sick the next day. All you have to worry about is if you use all your stamina, you collapse and the day immediately ends. And you wake up at the clinic and you have a green worm face. And I don't think eating something will recover you from that. But if anything, it's pretty forgiving, which is nice. Here, I've learned my lesson. See, look, she was much more effusive with the fish she didn't like. <laughs> well, it's that southern hospitality. I mean, under no circumstances must you hurt anyone's feelings. No, you did it wrong if she says, bless your heart. Oh, <laughs> bless your heart. Best your heart. <gasps> uh, what a jolly face on such a gruff man. Gunther, you're the fucking carpenter. Don't teach me <laughs> anything. <laughs> do your work. Yeah, Gunther doesn't do anything. What he does is, I collect all of materials, and then I build it while he stands around and watches me. He made that adorable little diorama for you. That is pretty cute. You'll never make money being a carpenter. The real money is in teaching. So, man, here's one of the things that Story of Seasons did so much better than A New Beginning. In A New Beginning, the tutorial lasted the entirety of spring, and basically like a day or two into summer as well. Because not only did it take you that entire spring for the mayor and everyone to teach you everything, it wasn't until the carpenter moved back into town that she pointed out a door in your house, and you were finally able to craft anything. <laughs> I'm not bitter. But in this, once you finish the week of training, which goes by really quickly anyway, Gunther comes home, you collect some additional materials, you can build your farm, and you're finally able to build right from there. Seven days tops, as opposed to 30, to 33, however many it was. Really the only thing that A New Beginning has over Story of Seasons, aside from the online being utterly broken, is that the uh, crafting music, I feel, is a little more cheerful and a little more catchy. It was, it's the same song, it's just it's been remixed with different instruments for this one, and I, d I don't like the instruments they went with as much. It's not as memorable. Gunther's got a pretty bad twitch there, too. Yeah. He's just barely containing the tears of pride. <laughs> Oh, little girl that I just met. You built your own house. There is nothing more I can teach you. But I'm still going to show up every time you build a new building. And yell at you. Yeah, but you get that anytime you do any framing. You always get the fucking kibitzers coming around. <laughs> just like, oh, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing? You 
the town inspector. Gotta make sure you're doing it right and up to code. One pretty cool thing, when you edit the furniture in your house, or the buildings around the farm, the game time stops. You're basically sort of working outside of time and space to make your farm look pretty. Never will you ever have 99 of every fucking item like they do here. It's rude to show me that game. Especially with how much shit you have to sell. So I mentioned previously, the merchants, the later ones anyway, require a stupid amount of items to be sold. That includes decorations that you'd put around your farm. Showing me 99 of everything is taunting me, and I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. He, he watched you renovate your own house. <laughs> and then he's like, oh yeah, I knocked up a barn too, just in case you forget who the carpenter is in this town. <laughs> I don't understand why I did this. From the crafting table, I'm able to edit my house as well as the farm, but I also have a mini table which only allows me to edit my house. Your silly game. But you remember our friend Hanako. Ada is giving her to us. Therefore, she's your best friend now, right? I don't know what you did to her, but she's got the runs now. <laughs> All yours. I ain't dealing with this shit anymore. <laughs> well, I tell you, dearie, I'm sure as hell not getting under this drippy thing on a milking stool. You're the old milker now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I've been supplanted. I think I also forgot to get fodder for Hanako. I might just be thinking about Animal Parade. Yeah, no, I, I saw you buy 10 chicken feed and 10 fodder. Okay, good. Yeah, I needed the chicken feed. I don't get a coop for I don't know how long. You're welcome, Pass Thornbrain. I'm glad that I could assuage your worries. So here's a funny thing. Hanako is still at Ada's farm. Except she's also in my barn. She just sort of split like a cell. Oh. <laughs> and also, she's a fresh new baby now because animals in this game do have a lifespan. And Hanako is technically one day old now. Holy crumbs, I seem to remember in the first Harvest Moon your animals could die and then there was a really depressing funeral. Yep. Or maybe I dreamed that. No, that definitely happened. That was real, but it was- it felt like a nightmare. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gracious. If you didn't feed them or left them outside without a fence or during a hurricane, they could get killed and the priest would just lay into you. <laughs> just the most scathing cow funeral. These animals are put in our farms with a certain duty of care. He says, staring pointedly at you. <laughs> oh, you're the only one there. This, this is personal. <laughs> the entire town shows up, looking uncomfortable. Now the closet is cool, because I like that we're able to customize our character completely, almost. Like, not just outfit, but also her entire appearance. What is kind of unfortunate, though, is we can't buy clothes. We can only buy the information on how to make the clothes, eventually, when we build a sewing studio. And... Man, is that not easy, so... It's gonna be a while before we get any really cool outfits. Oh god. Take it away. Dear lord. We'll stick with the classic. But there is a ton of customization options. In a new beginning, you had to actually unlock the hair studio before you could change your hair. 
I think the princess style is actually really, uh, you know, really smart for farm work. Yeah. I'm so Yeah, I- <laughs> <laughs> We'll stick with the kerchief, because that's sort of easy friendship with a couple characters. Although I gotta say, I'd really be on board playing this entire game as, uh, as, as blaxploitation heroine Cleopatra <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Cleo J in the character name screen. You know, at least I'd know, I suppose. <laughs> And what's better yet is I'd spend all my time growing poppies on the farm. In honor of the time Cleopatra Jones went to Afghanistan and killed everybody. <laughs> so here's the first thing I like to do once I'm able to edit my farm. Get rid of some of these fences. The idea is, like, that's to give you an idea. Here's a good place to plant some crops. After you get rid of those giant freaking rocks. But... You can plant crops anywhere on the farm, practically. Like, you can't do it right up next to your house, but almost everything is a place where you're allowed to till into the ground. So just get rid of these fences, and then go over to the barn, move some of the fences over so you've got space where you can add a coop. Hmm. Well, the best is uh, clearly a dark wizard. <laughs> Or a demigod. Wait, did I see rabbit food? Yep, you can buy a few different types of animals, and most of them have their own types of fodder. Bunnies. We won't get rabbits for a while. They're specifically angora rabbits, which eventually, like, they grow really fluffy hair and occasionally they'll shed it. And like with sheep, you can use that to make clothes. And I understand that rabbit eggs are incredibly nutritious. <laughs> Thought they were just made of chocolate. Uh, chocolate's nutritious. Technically a fruit! <laughs> Funny you say that. The rabbits do go into the coop. So we don't know who made those eggs. Which is really funny, because I had always understood that rabbits and chickens were natural enemies. Well, they're angry rabbits. They're just cute and chill. I suppose those are the chickens of rabbit kind, so... Actual chickens are anything but cute and chill. <laughs> they are mean motherfuckers. I am getting the cherry pie combo here just to show. The more expensive a food is, the more stamina it will recover. But really, the best use of your money is just to buy a crap ton of potato pancakes. A lot of latkes. Later seasons, he will cycle the menu. And they will get more expensive, so you can't get potato pancakes all the time. It'll usually be more than a hundred. But that's really the best use of your money. And this is what a lot of the days looked like. I would completely run out of stamina, go over to Rager, stuff myself with pancakes, and then I'd be able to go back and do some more work. You are going to get one hell of a vitamin deficiency. Yeah. M more, more pancakes best? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right there and you still ring the bell. <laughs> well, he, he won't let me talk to him except at the counter. Nobody will. If you go to someone's business and talk to the character model, they'll say, go around the counter. Hey, nice. Copper is the second level of tool construction. 
scrap metal is bullshit. I don't think it's used for anything. Maybe like one thing. That's kind of cool, a glittering stone. In Tale of Two Towns, we are actually able to hit that with a hammer and get a gemstone. In this one, it's a construction item all of its own. But it's not worth anything, which is kind of sad. Here I'm learning, this isn't as effective as I would think. I'm sure it's very amusing, though. <laughs> Damn, those turnips grew back fast. I saw a sprinkler on the Discovery Channel and it was doing this, so I figured it would work. But best, what are you doing? My principle is sound! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't have to make the noises. <laughs> it's good for me to understand my place. I'm trying to be the sprinkler. Best when they say that, they don't mean to actually be a sprinkler. <laughs> Occasionally, Fritz will just hang out on my farm. Which is cool with me, because I like him, but he doesn't do anything. I don't know why he's here. I've got nowhere else to go. Fred's get out of the fucking way! <laughs> Best is there tilling the fields, making unbreaking eye contact with Fritz like, <laughs> I'm gonna make you my husband someday. <laughs> or my name ain't Best Worst. Of the worst best. <laughs> That's right. This is as satisfying as it looks. I'm just thinking back to the original Harvest Moon where you had an ungodly amount of land you could plant on. God, yeah. An absolutely no feasible way to farm any decent amount of it. Yeah, you kind of had to abuse both the hot spring and the fact that time stopped at 6 p.m. <laughs> I only played the game for like an hour on a stream, and I tried to do that, but that the game still screwed with me. Because, like, because time stopped, some things I did didn't count. What, uh, what did you do? Were you trying to romance people outside of time? Like some kind of Nicholas Sparks protagonist? <laughs> I was trying to do things up in the mountain, but like everything would just reset. Oh yeah, you can't do stuff in the mountain, man. Damn. The mountain is not for you. The mountain is for the old gods. <laughs> Didn't even have a rucksack, you had to carry things one at a time to the shipping box. And if you were just a pixel off, you'd end up throwing it on the ground in a fit of peak. I was such a perfectionist as a kid, if that happened, I would just reset the game. Well, that day, not the whole game. <laughs> uh, gotta, gotta start over from spring one. Yep. I ruined a corn. My save is tainted. Here's more what I was thinking of. I forgot to put the fodder in while she was in there during the day. Oh, I see. She might actually be okay, though. That's nice fodder, too. Good and green. Yeah. She didn't seem to care. She'll probably be okay. That's not where milk comes from. Hey, why are you milking a baby? One day old adult baby. This fall on AMC. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix original. Uh, uh, that's worse. <laughs> Unless Tina Fey is involved. She would play the cow. That's really offensive. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Aww. I didn't mean it that way. I like Tina Fey. One would probably imagine that fantastic character actor Rachel Dratch would play Hanako. Tomorrow is Fritz's birthday. 
or give him some special, specifically the same crap I've been giving him. Now training. You're gonna give him uh, another another taste of the worst farm heroin. Yes, a butterfly. Oh, is that what you kids call it? On the street! <laughs> Man, wanna buy some butterfly? <laughs> kids today call it butterflying. <laughs> what you don't know about flutter butter could be killing your kids. It doesn't heroin kind of look like melted butter? Oh, you're not gonna trap me that easily this year <laughs> live on the YouTube. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, having watched Train Spotting, <laughs> which is the excuse you could have given, but now everyone's got their eye on you. Oh, no. Methinks the Skippy doth hath protested too much. Get zooks. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know, I think heroin could probably look like butter. You know, in the dark. <laughs> when you can't see it. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> how many of us have reached for for a tub of margarine in the dead of night to make a, a late night sandwich and <laughs> actually <laughs> <laughs> accidentally become addicted to heroin? <laughs> oh, God, I'd rather have the heroin than margarine on a sandwich. Wow. People make me sick. Jeez, man. How about a little bit of cultural sensitivity here? <laughs> well, hey, Skippy. It's highly addictive drugs or trans fats. Like, it's made of healthy canola oil. <laughs> it's better for you than brown rice. <laughs> I swear to God. From the people that brought you clean coal. <laughs> this LP brought to you by the margarine producers of Canada. <laughs> oh, pardonnez-moi. I'm just rambling on account of I'm nervous that the police will find me now. In affiliation with cigarettes that produce no secondhand smoke. That's right. The first cigarette that is safe for both mom and baby. <laughs> Did you guys ever try lighting those Popeye candy cigarettes as kids? <laughs> or was that or was that just, you know, because I grew up with tissue boxes for shoes. And you couldn't get real cigarettes. Yeah, I mean I came up rough, okay? <laughs> Smoking candy out by the train yard. <laughs> anyway, next part will be the first proper part of us on our own farm. And it'll be Fritz's birthday. This postscript went to weird places, man. <laughs> Well, welcome to the Straw Hat No. This is how every video goes. <laughs> Hooray!